So today I just decided to eat some leftovers. This is the chicken that I made, the buffalo chicken. One ounce of peanuts, one ounce of cheese, cauliflower, mashed potatoes, a cup of cucumbers and pickles, and then a wrap with turkey bacon and egg. It's a weird combination, but it's actually really, really good. Third day of the low carb challenge that I'm doing for the month of June. And today went pretty good. I ate a little bit earlier. I ate like around 12 instead of eating around 6. I think that's what I ate yesterday. I ate like around 12 today because I just kind of wanted to try out my times and see um, what I like better. And to be honest, I'm feeling like 12 is a good time. I haven't got hungry and it's already like 9. I haven't got hungry, so that's a good sign. Um, also, I like doing my workouts before I eat because trying to work out while you have a whole bunch of food in your stomach is just not, it's, it's, it's not fun. So I bought the ketone strips and I decided to test if I'm in ketosis or not even though it's only been three days, guess what, I am. It was like the darkest purple that it can be. If you don't know what that is, it's just basically these little sticks that you pee on and it tells you how many ketones are in your body or if you're in ketosis, I'm not sure. It tells you if you're in ketosis and then basically once you're in ketosis that means that your body is burning fat. I think because I'm only eating one time a day my body is fasting so it's like burning fat quicker or just got me in ketosis quicker I don't know but I don't normally get into ketosis that quick so that's pretty cool and it's definitely not because I'm dehydrated or anything like that because I'm drinking a lot of water it's just because I'm eating low carbs so so I guess the low carb tortillas are good because um, I'm still in ketosis even though I've been eating them every single day and my peanut butter cookies are good I have Splenda with my coffee still in ketosis and yeah everything's going good i also drink diet or coke zero i can't give that up i have it one a day so it's just what i do but the meals have been a little bit weird because i mean of course i'm having to eat basically breakfast lunch and dinner all in one meal so it's a little bit weird but it keeps me full all day i haven't been like hungry hungry so so tomorrow i'll probably eat at 12 again and then i won't eat after one Anyways. I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's video. One thing that I am learning while doing low carb so far is don't be afraid to eat calories. Um, coming from counting calories to low carb could be a little bit hard because you're used to counting calories, you're used to getting the low fat stuff, but now you have to get the full fat stuff because the low fat stuff has sugar in it which equals carbs. So um, just don't be afraid to eat calories, don't be afraid to eat avocado, I don't like avocado but you know, you. Don't be afraid to eat avocado, don't be afraid to eat cheese, don't be afraid to eat full fat stuff but also make sure you get vegetables in because you don't want to have nothing but like cheese and meat in you. You want to have a lot of fat and a lot of vegetables. Um, I need to get more vegetables in my diet so I'll probably eat like a salad or something. I'm not doing keto. I don't think I'm doing keto because I do have my low carb wraps and I do have um what else do I have that's not keto? I don't know but I am going to eat some blueberries. I'm just going to make sure they're in within my 40 carbs a day or under 50 carbs is what I'm going to do but lately I've been staying like 20 or 30 carbs so if I can add blueberries in there if I can add blueberries in and still be under 30 carbs I think that's pretty good so that's probably what I'm going to end up doing and um then I will like test my ketosis thingy on the stick or whatever and I will see if blueberries took me out and if it did I won't I won't eat it again but what the hell's going on there <laughs> it's so annoying now that my hair is short because my my braids go like pippy long stocking but yeah you shouldn't be hungry at all doing omad if you're doing that with me you shouldn't be hungry at all as long as you're eating enough fat is keeping me full like i'm telling you when i ate carbs like bread and stuff like that and chips i would be hungry with like maybe 30 minutes but eating fat has kept me full like for hours literally for 23 hours it keeps me full hope you guys are doing good and i will talk to you tomorrow make sure you let me know down below what you're eating let me know how your day is going